Hello, it's James again. In this video, we're going to go over the basics of MySQL or MariaDB. We're going to go over creating a database, creating a table, inserting some data in the table, and other stuff that I could think of. So, I am running MySQL. The commands would be the same in MariaDB. And I already have a .my.cnf file. So I don't have to put user root and then password the enter the password. All I have to put is MySQL and I'll read that file. So let's take a look at the databases real quick. Oops, typo. So databases. I already have one right here, but um we're gonna start from scratch. Let's create a database. Create a database that's tell store db let's put a scenario you're trying to in insert a, a create a database for a retail store and you have to put a uh, employees data in there so create database retail store db show databases and there it is retail store db so let's use it RGB. Alrighty, and since we just created it, there are no tables. We have to create a table. Create table. Let's name it employees table. Let's start putting some information. So we're going to want a first name this says how many characters the limit of characters on it first name last name um, position and the year that they started just put year and it's going to be an integer, integer int because we're going to put um, numbers in there so now that should be created show tables and you could put describe tables or the table name. So in this one it's gonna be employees table. And it describes what you just put in there, the field and the type. So let's insert some data in there. Insert into the table name. And then the values. Again, you want to insert something for first name, last name, position, and year. Values are going to be, uh, let's just make some names up and titles. Um, Joe. Joe Lopez position sales rep and the year will be 2018 he's a new employee so let's create that so created and it should already be in there let's find out Employees table. This is the command select everything from this table. And so there we go. You have first name, last name, position, year, and then the value that we just put. Let's put a few more because I want to show you something. Um, but real quick, let's put um, sales rep. Okay. Joe G 
Volcán y a la ciudad. And then let's do manager. Lane. Uh, Peter Lane, I guess. Then one more. Sales manager again. Uh, there you go. Alrighty. So now that we have all those values in there, let's take a look at the table again. There we go, we have all four right there. Now this is what I want to show you. What if we just want to check the sales manager, right? If I want to find out who are the sales managers for this uh, store, or I just want to find them out and not the other employees, select all from employees table where position position equals sales manager voila it just gives us back the data for um, what we asked for we asked for select everything from employees table where the position equals sales manager so whatever it is in sales manager then will give us that feedback or that data. We could do the same for sales rep. Is this the reps? And we could add also to the position we could put first name. There you go, on Joe stuff so yeah that's how you uh, you create a database you create a table and then you could put you know if you, it's gonna be first name how many characters last name position if it's a number you put INT and then uh, just to show the tables show tables describe the table And then to insert some data, insert into table name, whatever you want to insert from, uh, first name, last name, position, year, and the values for those. Joe Gunn, sales rep, 2016. And there we go. Let's quit that. And the last video that I did, I went through how to do a backup. So let's say we, we want to back the retail store database. We'll put MySQL dump the database name. So retail store db to I already have this directory backups and then give it a file name retail store db dot dump. And if you go into that directory, there we go. That's a backup now. So if you make a mistake in that database, all you have to do is restore it by going MySQL, the database name. And then the uh, file path, so backups, retail, store, DB. That's how you do it. Now it's gonna, it's not gonna change anything because we didn't make any mistakes. 
but um that's the uh that's how to do it and then again let's just see if everything's still there select everything from employees table there we go that is it for this lesson might do some more videos on the basics or maybe a little bit more advanced stuff in MySQL. But until next time, it's James. Have a good one.